I am Dr. Sandeep Vash and I have been a practicing neurosurgeon for the past 20 years. Over the next 5 minutes, I shall explain what brain death is. Brain death or neurological death is a term not well understood by the public. People tend to confuse brain death with coma. This animation will explain what brain death is and how it is substantially different from coma. Let us start by understanding anatomy. The brain consists of two parts, the cortex and the brainstem. The cortex is the larger part of the brain and the brainstem is the smaller. The brainstem is actually the top of the spinal cord. The cortex controls higher functioning activities such as reading, writing and talking. If the cortex is seriously damaged, the person might enter coma and lose consciousness. But even in coma, a person might still feel pain or respond to stimuli and sometimes a comatose patient might regain consciousness. Brain death is however different from coma. It's a term used to describe the whole brain dying, both the cortex and the brainstem. The brainstem is the central nervous system of the human body and the center of consciousness. If the brainstem dies, respiration would stop. Once the heart stops receiving oxygen, it too would die and stop beating and all other organs will also die due to oxygen deprivation. How does brain death occur? If a person receives a serious blow to the head or has a major stroke, the brain might begin to swell. Since the skull is made of hard bone, it doesn't allow the brain to expand. Physicians can try medication or surgery to reduce the swelling, but if this does not succeed, the pressure on the brain can grow greater than the pressure of the beating heart. Once this happens, the heart can no longer force oxygenated blood into the brain. With no supply to the brain, the brain cells die due to the lack of oxygen. In fact, the cells don't just die. A process called lysis begins where cells begin to liquefy. This liquefaction makes the brain death irreversible. Once the brainstem dies, the person stops breathing and the heart and the rest of the organs die due to oxygen deprivation. So how do we know the brainstem has died? Modern medicine has lots of ways to determine if the brainstem has died. One way is to check for the neurological activities that the brainstem controls. If the person is not conscious, cannot breathe, cannot swallow or cough, pupils do not respond to light, these are all signs the brainstem has died. In India, the Transplantation of Human Organs Act of 1994 specifies a series of tests that need to be performed by a team of four doctors before brain death is declared. The tests are performed twice with an interval of six hours. But how is it possible for the heart of a brain dead patient to keep beating? Where does the heart get oxygen from? The patient has been put on a ventilator to help him breathe. Afterwards, the brainstem dies. Even though the brainstem is dead and the lungs no longer function, the heart continues to beat because it is artificially being supplied oxygen from the ventilator. If the brainstem and the rest of the brain is dead, what is instructing the heart to beat? The heart is independent of the brain and is simply an automatic pump. As long as the heart gets oxygen from the ventilator, it will continue beating for a short period of time. After the onset of brain death, if the deceased is left on the ventilator, how long would the dead body's heart continue to beat? The heart can beat for a few more hours, sometimes even a few weeks. On an average, the heart would beat for two or three days and then die. Brainstem death is death. It is irreversible and systemic failure of all organs is inevitable. No one has ever woken up from brain death. If brain death means the patient has died, why does the body feel warm to the touch and looks like it's sleeping? The human being, the organism is dead, but the organs such as the heart are kept alive for a few more days, giving the appearance of a sleeping person. An organ can be kept alive even outside the body by giving it oxygen, but the person is dead once the brain is dead. A brain dead patient is not a person suffering from brain death. He is dead. Once death has been established, the question facing the family in that situation is what to do? Should the family wait? till their loved one's heart stops beating or should they express their wish to donate organs and save other people's lives? Emotionally, it's a difficult choice and every family has to do what they feel is right.